A week-long curfew has been announced in the U.S. city of Baltimore after rioting erupted in protest at the death of a black man in police custody. Thousands of troops and soldiers from outside the city have been deployed. Much of the violence happened in a poor area, parts of which hadn't been rebuilt since riots back in the 1960s. Volunteers turned out on Tuesday to help clear up the debris. Schools were closed, as was a shopping centre amid fears that rioters might target it. Buildings and scores of cars were burned in the violence. The trouble followed Freddie Gray's funeral. After spending a week in a coma, the 25-year-old died from a spinal injury suffered as police transported him in a van. Six officers have been suspended. His family have appealed for calm. And I'm as hurt, right, but I do not want you all to be out here killing the Lord, right? I want you all to get justice for my son, but don't do it like this here. Don't tear up the whole city, man, just for him. It's wrong. Monday's violence left several injured and saw hundreds of arrests. The rioting spread throughout the city. The local police were criticised for being too lax. Last year in Ferguson, police were attacked for being too heavy-handed. The mayor of Baltimore said it was a delicate balancing act.